are left grieving an unexpected loss after a crash in Bell County killed two people earlier this week. News 10's Alex Fulton is live in our Bell County newsroom after speaking with the two families. Alex, I cannot imagine what they're going through right now. Lauren, both Michaela Bartik and Lance Scott grew up in the Central Texas area, Bartik in the Temple, Belton area, and Scott in Colleen. Their loved ones told me today that they never expected to be planning a funeral. It's been the hardest uh, 24 hours of our lives. Megan Beisel is left without a sister. So as you can imagine, it's been a whirlwind of emotions. And Reagan Walker without a father after a tragic car crash. Beisel's sister, Michaela Bartik, and Walker's father, Lance Scott, were in two separate cars when they collided head on in the middle of opposing lanes. This all took place around 4.15 early Monday morning on FM 439 in Bell County. The Texas Department of Safety is still investigating which of the drivers crossed over into the opposite lane. There's not much we can say to, you know, take that pain away from each other. Bartik was headed to work and Walker was on the way home. From the way everything looked, there was no obvious reason for that to have happened. Beisel says nobody was around when the crash happened, but her family was able to trace her location through her phone when they didn't hear from her. We don't know how long it would have been before anyone was notified if her husband and son weren't able to see where she actually was when they started calling to find out why she didn't make it to work. Now these two families are holding on to the last memories of their loved ones. He was just always the life of the party for everyone. I just remember him as being a family man. When you look at pictures of her, it's obvious that she was beautiful. But then whenever you got to know her, there was just something about her that everybody could see. Both families are planning funerals that will take place here in the next couple of weeks. We have links to join it to both of their GoFundMes, which will help cover those funeral expenses over on our website. Reporting live in the Bell County Newsroom, Alex Fulton, KWTX News 10.